a new competitor to Yieldmax has arrived. Curve Investment Management LLC has started their own lineup of single stock synthetic cover call ETFs. Are they better than Yieldmax? This video is not financial advice, nor is it a recommendation. Please do your own due diligence before investing into anything. The new Curve ETFs operate somewhat similar to Yieldmax ETFs, but with more flexibility. At the moment, the following ETFs are offered by Curve. TSLP, which trades against Tesla, AMZP, which trades against Amazon, AAPY, which trades against Apple, MSFY, which trades against Microsoft, NFLP, which trades against Netflix, and Goop, which trades against Alphabet. These ETFs currently charge an expense ratio of 0.99%, but this is only due to a temporary fee waiver, which expires December 31st and bumps it up to 1.15% starting January 1st of 2025. When you invest in a Curve ETF, your cash can be held in any of the following assets at their discretion. Cash, U.S. Treasuries, investment grade bonds, commercial paper, or just directly invested into the stocks they trade against. Once your cash is invested in any of these assets, they leverage those assets to do their option strategy. To achieve long exposure to the movement of the underlying stocks, provided they didn't invest directly into that stock, they begin by selling a put with a 1-12 to 12 month expiration. With the income from that put, they buy a call with a similar expiration. Both the call and the put move in value as the underlying stock does, which makes the curve ETF move similarly. To make the income they need to pay monthly dividends, they also sell short expiration calls against the same reference stock and use the premium income they make to pay you each month. Now that we've covered their basic strategy, let's look at the pros and cons of these funds. The first and most obvious pro is the convenience of having these funds. If you're too inexperienced or just don't have the time to do your own synthetic cover call strategy, these funds allow you to just set it and forget it. These funds also allow you to make dividends from companies that don't usually pay them and because some of them trade against volatile stocks, you have the potential for some great dividend payouts. The last and probably most overlooked pro is that the prospectus includes language allowing the managers the flexibility to make better decisions on the fly. Instead of being limited to investing your cash into U.S. Treasuries, they could choose other, better paying investments like a floating rate bond or other investment grade bonds they find. Because they're insiders, they might know about assets the average retail investor does not. While these funds do have some notable strengths, here are some of their weaknesses. With any covered call funds, but especially the higher paying funds, nav erosion can be an issue. While the dividends might be good enough to make nav erosion not matter to you, it does make it harder to exit for a profit should you choose to take your capital elsewhere. We should also consider that even with the fee waiver in place, the 0.99% expense is pretty high and will only go higher once the waiver expires. This would make Curve ETFs cost more to hold than yield max and may not result in much better profits than just sticking with yield max in the long run. Lastly, in funds like these, your gains are capped in the event of the underlying stock experiences an unusual spike in share price. While this risk is mitigated if and when a particular ETF invests directly into the underlying stock, you would miss out on some of those gains. You could fix this by investing some capital directly into the underlying stocks yourself. Would you buy these ETFs? If you like this video, you might also enjoy this one here on the screen. Subscribe to join the Cashflow Club and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single video.